Hello, welcome back to Doc's Hot Shop Forge. Today we're going to continue working towards repairing the 7 inch jaw post vise that we picked up on our house call the other week. Now this vise is going to need some serious forge welds to bring it back to working condition. To do these we need some way to safely handle the considerable weight of that front jaw while it's hot in the forge or being moved from the anvil to the forge or back again to the forge. Ideally, this would be a team effort, but as I don't have a striker, I have to find a way to do this single-handed. So, a swinging jib crane will have to serve. Now, the design that I'm going for is a relatively simple design. So you've got a fixed pivot. You've got your boom. support structure and something to hold your weight. Really simple. Now the stock I've got is one meter of oh what was it? 50 by 25 I think. Uh, medium wall. I've got some thin wall um, 30 by 30. And seeing as this thing's never going to hold anything more than about 75 kilos, that's going to be plenty. And storage, I have a 250 kilo come along style um, hoist. I have to make a, there'll be a little spider to run along um, because the anvil and the forge aren't in a perfect arc of each other. They're close, but not quite. So having that ability to slide backwards and forwards a bit is going to help a great deal. So, let's get started. basis of the jib crane. Um, we'll have a little slider along the boom. So we'll have uh, I need more space. A little slider that runs between here, so we'll have quite a wide spread. And then there'll be a hook with a 500 kilo hoist on it. It's going to be too low to be comfortable but It'll do the job that I intend for it. So let's get this let's get the boom assembled. We'll get to work on the fixing mechanism. And we'll see about figuring out a way to actually trial it because I haven't got the hoist yet. The important bit I have 30 centimeters or so. We can trim this off.
All right, so that's the first, that's the upper pivot, ready to weld. This is the lower. This one I'm dubious about because I just don't think the wall thickness, but we'll give it a go. If we can't, then we'll find something else we can use. All right, let's tack this one on. For which I'm going to turn the camera off again because this stuff murders the sensor. So these are going to be the end bearings. This is a trial fit up. And that puts a load about there, which can be slid to here to keep it relatively in line with the anvil to be roughly here. So, yeah, I think that'll work. So now that we have the jib crane in position, it's time to get the hoist out of storage. Secure a supply of coke for the forge to help reduce the fuel load and make the little spider that allows us to reposition the hoist along the jib. After this, we'll be working on the L piece for the repair and getting the front jaw pieces ready to be re-welded. If you would like to support the channel, I now have a Patreon. Any donation will be just that, a donation. The content will always be free. The Patreon link is in the description down below. As always, if you've enjoyed this video, hit the thumbs up, feel free to share on social media, and if you haven't already, please consider subscribing and hitting the bell for notification. So get out to your shop, have fun, but do stay safe, and I'll catch you for the next one.